fully um, engaged all the way across. As you can see, this is the, this is the length of it. it. Belongs to the top of the wall, of this parapet wall. This is the parapet wall. You can see the compressive break there, the engagement from one side of the wall to the other side of the wall where you turn directions at the, this is the, the roof line, right? At the, the very walkways here. This is where the humans walk. Let's see if I can do uh, this to help you skip or orient it. They walk there and they make a turn. They can come down to this, on top of this ledge here is their walkway. Literally was their walkway. And then, okay, right about here was there where the ductwork goes. Was the next turn, not this. Um, when the building shook, this could have partly shifted away to help us get us get us clear of that um, clear of that wall system. But the rotation is still there, as I described, and that's indicated by this top engaged parapet wall system. It's uh, like that with rebar at the top some block, some engagement with uh, steel down to the floor, uh, the roof level here. So that would be roof and the steel would go down there and this would be block and block. And every now and then they would solid fill the cores of concrete and they solid fill the cap right there. It means maybe two blocks got for solid fill. If we look down here, we can see it roughly. Nevertheless, it was engaged from end to end, meaning whatever, you know, this end to that end. From this end to this end. The rotation can therefore, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing multiple rotations. Of course you would, you see some tugging, a tug of war take place. So part of tug of war is this, which is pulled to the right, which indicates that this is the, it, our ductwork. Remember that rotation could have been our could have been the first rotation down, as I stated. The first rotation down to clear it. Because if I get this rot rotating first, there's a good chance it's going to then just keep tug of war won't have a, have a chance to redirect and go the other direction to, to clear this from breaking, from uh, from not from separating without twisting it up. So that's why I count that this this end is first. And during that rotation, and that means we get this dip down in that deck, and at the same time, we get this wall to indicate that pull in this direction. Let me give you some backing up data, some more data. So let's hear this. This is kind of critical. I only glean over it just for a second, like I, I, I in the internal part of this roof here, or again back here. So. Oh, I said, or again back here. Let's stop there. Right here is where. I think the rotation could have started. That gets us clear of this ductwork, um, which I've been holding out on, and I won't hold out for you guys, is that this section here is what we see in the video, the large section. I don't think we see it. I don't think, because there's the pull deck area. The, this is B, uh, K, L is over the other planter box, and M, KLM. Nope, got that backwards. Um, K, K, this is L, that's M. Yeah, let me just clean that up, right? So, uh, K, L, M, N. This is O line here. So, I think it goes over to O. And what we see when we pick up the video, I think this is already rotated down like that. So my butterfly, I show it like that, but this was my, uh, this is this is one of my favorite positions, this one. And this is sheer planed off. By the time we pick up the video, it's, it's pretty deep. So the rotation would be here first. You clean it up. Here first, pulling this duck away. This wall system here. Remember how I said it doesn't go across, right? And I show you, have you caught on yet? I show you that that it goes over like that when you extend it out. Does it look like it extends out to you? Remember I said how it's connected at the top. So what you're actually looking at is this wall system like this. 
What the hell happened there? I didn't, it all erased. And somewhere about, let me change the color. Somewhere about here is that little wall that goes, that block wall like that. You're going to see that piece. It's actually the turn. So it's, it's, it's this, so we got that wall going. It's literally the turn. And that piece that can't fit anywhere because there's no block that goes down, it, it's, it goes down here. That's part of the wall that goes out here. Where I'm going to show you again. I'll go over show you again. It's part of the wall that goes down, it goes out there. So as this went down, this piece winds up right about here hanging off. So this is why I pick here as my rotating point. Here's a ductwork. So this is ductwork here. And as this went down, this whiplashed over to there. And it's going to be right about here like this. I'm going to get the configuration. We'll go back to it right now. Let's see if I can go back to it right now. So I have to go back just a touch. And it's this piece here. That's that part as we look from the top. Here's the wall. Here's the other part of it. So we look from the top. And I'm going to draw it back here. This is the way they come out of the elevators. And they come this way. And this is where the man will be standing here, right? All right. So... Let's do this again. Let's let's get rid of. Let's make it larger. So this would be okay. Elevators, right? So elevator, and so you do the elevator, not elevation. Come here, turn here. Here's a man. Okay. Let's put the man here for help you out. All right. This. Let me change colors. This piece here, if we put it back now, well, this is the top cap, this top cap wall is here. Remember the wall then turns and goes that direction, this side of it. Well, this is this side of it there. This piece would go, say here. Then it would turn and go like that. This piece, somewhere about here. And that, as you look at it from the top view, going back to the, the, the top view of it, that's that piece. So it was, we have first the wall going this way, tearing off. So that puts us going to tear it off and put this top cap over there. we got to have a direction going that way first. So that's how I get it ripping off that direction. That helps me get it clearing of this. This puts it further behind. The collapse further behind. Behind us now. Not out here initially. This gives me my tugging, though, and incidentally, I'm going to get to this for you. Um, this gives us our tugging there, and it's going to be a tug of war. So this this is the indicating that it went that direction. Okay, let's clear it I want to clean it up, but I not yet. Um, so that gets us up that direction. And then, the, of course, it's connect. So that's your sagging of your deck, all right? So you're, it's holding on now. Let's do that. So let's put this color change. Let's put this like this. Say, say this is the deck. And let's, where the fracture is, let's, let's just change it there. Let's go there and take some liberty here because it's going to come up and it's going to hold on again. Something like, you know, trying to hold on, but the, this, to get this dip, it's not, it's a rotation. You know, I remember it's a bell and shook and it rotated. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll back it up. I'll support it. Just wait, bear with me. I'll support it more. But this supports it, number one. This is so critical. This does. This is another tell. This is a tell. The internal railing is still there. So the walls that the people talk about going into the stairwell and they couldn't, um, they saw it down into the elevator shaft in the case of this internal wall uh, on the elevator shaft was not, maybe not, uh, it was like that. Here's the elevator. This wall is the stair stairs over here. This wall was falling onto the steps. Scaring the shit out of them as they, they came down there and tried to look down and see the void there. That would be quite scary. And some people turned around, obviously. But the one guy made it from the 11th floor all the way down, so uh, he, he skedaddled. That one fireman guy that runs up to the police, as you remember. So we look at this again. You see the block wall here. This section is actually a, 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 this section we're looking at here now. Actually, inside, if we're looking at it from the, if we're on the roof deck looking at this, 
This would be the top, looking at, looking at it from top down. So we're here. We look this direction. This first, uh, I'm going to colorize it for you. We're going to say this is uh, the green section. So I'll do green. And then I'll do green again. And then I'll change colors now to this. Um, that's not going to be good, is it? going to be too close. Oh, that dark color. Let's put the dark color there. That's part of that wall that goes down. And then now we're going to switch over again. And that little snub, we're going to add that little nub there. That will now get us what what our, our part that broke free here. I don't know if I'm looking at more rebar hanging from this or not. But it's telling us the story. So to get this section, I'm going to, to come this direction. Here it is here. You've got to pull it that direction. And since it's connected with all the links, you actually can tug on it from this end. Yank it due to rotation of the, as I showed you in that one video, the rotation of the uh, planter bot, of the hallway. That buckles some of this, this uh, I'm going to erase this, this part. That buckles some of the block there. Um, and so you see it standing there, it breaks it free. It indents the ductwork slightly. And so right here is where I'm getting our fracture going on. A rotation that this alcove in here is very indicative where the rotation further out would have started not not right there further out would have started and <sighs> further out would have started considering I don't know the reinforcement over there I, I'm, I'm 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 really proud of that position that position puts us pretty close to this, the end of the wall, the end of the wall structure going over. And there should be a beam over there. Now let me forward up a little bit in the video because I want to show you two more details. I'm not sure where I was talking. I just might have repeated. Sorry. Uh, this, I think, I don't know if you heard me say that. This is part of the, similar to the south wall down on the pool deck. It has the reinforcement that goes that direction. It comes up and... It was pulled out also. Uh, I said tugging here. Again, I might be repeating myself. I don't know. I can't go back and replay for the edit reasoning. Um, you can see the drywall, internal drywall, which is here. That little thin piece is here. So you can see it turned that direction, the wall. Okay, yes or no? Turn that direction? Yes or no? No. This is probably the plaster that was on this wall. So remember the walls turn. So this plaster... A little piece here is probably this little piece here because this is the walkway area this is the end of that before you make your turn it looks like that well, it goes like that this end is right here so this piece of drywall plaster work is right there okay so you can see it just turned a little bit and but it didn't come all the way over so that shows you're a buckling and our decoupling of that part of the wall from the collapse happened. And it happened at that point where you can just see that much rotation on the wall, on that plaster wall system. So I need top video images. So this plaster was originally like that. Now it's like this before it decoupled from the collapse system. And in, in came, well, I know that because it's where it is, unless it was um, bounced over there. Closer images would, would tell me. If we see holes in it from the outside and somehow magically it's that way now so i have it going that way and then we have the tug of war system so that's that one that one and anchoring there from that point it makes it to the next floor 11th floor and we start getting our progressive collapse um, so looking at it from here here's your if you could look through this is the the come out of the elevators go this way and into the condo units right over here is that plaster wall. That's also where it does that turn. Remember, and I showed that little piece like that. That's part of the wall going down. We got that block we show that's stacked up over here in the inside corner. This is the plane of the where the man, I showed you the man or woman was a sketch person. Um, so this section here is like this. Following its path, that might put the dip back here behind us a bit. And that, again, that sort of puts us here, but it can be as far as here. I like it over here because then I get to see this building 
more so like that I'm doing in class but I, I like it I like it over he, over over here for the roof collapse area in the middle the butterfly will be here but my instinct wants to when wants me to put it here all right the video material wants me just to biasly put it over here my instinct puts it here um, as a vibration and I, I support that with with shake tables uh, I'll give you guys a quick version of it when a building rattles this is where your failure is going to happen at to change the directions of your slab directions uh, slab any change of directions where you're, you're, you're where this is going to start you're suffering compression and want to fail this they often just call it fractures but you know these engineers lack uh, current engineers lack the ability to expand their brain besides what's written uh, and a uh, peer-reviewed paper so you'll see fractures like this and they often just say it's fractures and try to blame it on the steel but it's it's not the steel it's the rigidity meeting rigidity in two different directions and shaking it it becomes in compression because it's part of the column area also they're going up to the floor and the anchorage so our steel reinforce that's a longer video nope not going into that one just uh it'll be another video all right so i i want to look at it remember that piece i want to put it back here all right it puts us here still gets our tugging if we can get this is um let's say this is a part of the collapse after the shaking so it's shaking the pull back of course is first but we're at the roof now Roof A, this a, a, a area, I believe, rotates down first. That gets me clear of this that duct, that duct work, remember? All right. So A, and then we get clear of the duct work, and we get our, our progressive collapse. But this makes it to um, pull a strain on the, uh, down to the 11th floor. Oh, that's roughly 11th floor there, roof there, isn't it? So that's down to the 10th, because this is a 12th. This is actually the 11th floor roof roof i think but i got that right so that so this 11th floor area goes down there possibly since this is also the 12th this hallway this corridor they like to refer, reference it as that could have fallen down to uh um just i, I don't really have that wall buckling that way um the openings on the other side of this are critical to part of my uh future videos on that where they're opening and then the beams are showing. If this was reinforced in this crazy pattern like this, and you fill it in with with uh, concrete, that makes the new um, shear wall stiffener, if you will. As per using California for this, California is the one if you're going to follow the earthquakes and, and what makes it through buildings. This is what they've been testing. So that's not infilled all the way. There's windows, if you remember in previous videos over here, when we looked at it from that side, there are openings. Those openings work against you in a, uh, a rattling building scenario. A whipping building up. Um, these panel, are those solar panels? Um, the, uh, so we have that. And what else we have here? Hey, Bruce. Let me move on. Okay, so these are the same same video you can go to. You'll find it. Um, these are those openings I referenced. This is the weak connections, weakest uh, where where the failure would, would begin um, on a rattling building, uh, unless it's of course at the floor. We can choose the floors. The, in this case, the roof. Um, that would be this. The reverse of that would be the under would be right there, and the top of it. It would be up there at the windows and i'm going to now and extend that up that would be here again that's where your decoupling is going to take place they did some repair structural pairs i don't know if it's just this beam or is there a beam over here this one i have not been able to establish per images uh okay let's go yes this piece I, I guess I'll give it to you now instead of play, playing around, keep forgetting it's the private room. So it, remember I have this section here rotating and it might start from here and then 
the deck diving down. We have that little alcove I told you about, so I'm, I'm going to pin on that. I'm going to indicate on that one. Alcove we saw in the in the roof deck. I'm going to pin on pin on that as a, as a stress point. And it could be coming at it at an angle like that at this angle. So it could put us back here again. As long as we get this rotating away and clearing this ductwork, why it matters why it's how it's anchored down here because we get this on the ground. Remember, I think it's flipped over at that point. Um, you know, did it separate first from here? I don't know because I don't know how it's secured. That's why it matters to me because that would help me determine. It would act like an anchor at this point, holding on. If this if this section rotated down, as I speculate, it would. This would be anchored back to the steel here, and it would have come down at the same time if it was anchored. If it's sort of not anchored, sort of like hanging out there, if you will. Um, then I don't get to count it yet. Here's the thing, though. This looks like a, um, let's see if I got this right. Yep, a beam. This is a beam here. So maybe there's a beam here going across from here to, to another point the, over there. Um, and that would, and when it rotates over, <clears throat> that that beam, if it's a beam and it's anchored here well, it would also give me my breaking alcove. So, so here's a, the, floor, the roof deck above. Here's the beam. And as you drive this beam down, say down to the ground here, just drive it down, just like you're pushing this in, okay? Push down. You could create that alcove effect of giving me that, that notch that I showed you if you go backwards in a few minutes in the video. Let's keep it going. I always try to come up with multiple reasons to get me, get me there. I think it's securement anchored for wind loading, et cetera, that one. Now, this one, I, I wanted to show you that this is uh, um, electrical system. Look, electrical. There's a box. There is more electrical going that way. Don't know what it goes to, but it took the, it was on, it was, it was secured to the floor maybe and whipped over there. But watch this one. So this one. Oh, well, it's this line right here. That's an old line of uh, a, a stain, if you will, or the debris that's over the many years that, that it's gathered behind this whip, this cable, this steel, this conduit. And that's what that line is there. I'm going to show you how you put it back up. So I want you to take this. See, that's a 90. And then down here is a little box. And in this box might be a light. Remember, this is the doorway here. Now I want you to put that this with this not this here with that ninety back up against this wall. And now you're going to come my direction with it. Come towards us. And this goes above above, above the. This goes beyond the door up at that header. So at this height, towards us. And then there's the box. It's, I think it's the box hanging, the uh, utility box for the uh, lighting fixture. Uh, probably see when we came out of, this, out of this area, you come out onto the roof deck. You open this door. You can probably turn the light switch on, and it would turn this on. You then go up the steps to access the elevator room up at the very top. You go up those uh, long steps um, to access it. This is probably a pressure box of some type for allowing equilibrium of uh with the elevators going up and down the uh the shaft um so this electrical box shows it uh tells us at what point it was it was a tug of war how long it was connected before it was released it also shows it's broken there that could break just by being dropping it and let it hang like that it could break it's being held on by electrical wire inside of it that's why you see a break right there a separation of the pipe but it's still hanging there it's uh, the conduit, the conduit, it's like that. And then there's the 90 and this, right? But it appears to be a break there. That's the wire inside holding it. So it just broke the coupling there. Um, this might be a turn down, so it might have uh, come across the wall and then turned down, then light fixture. See, the, see that there? Like a little 90 and then do, 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 do. So I can... If I had more images, we'd be able to determine uh, even the length of this. All this counts. We could see the, the clamping where it happened here, midline of there before it released. If 
from the structure. So we know it was anchored to the wall. At one point, it couldn't even, it could pull the clamp off of here. It could pull the clamp off of there, but it could not, it, at one point, it was, uh, the, it lost its, it went, it was started pulling down. It didn't even, the clamp, the clamps that were holding it onto the wall didn't even have enough to break the wire, uh, um, clamp force to break the wire, or even pull off one more connection. It's probably right here. Um, and that is, I, I, I'm almost willing to say it's flexible conduit because it's a dip here. Um, but maybe over the years, the conduit just sagged a bit. Um, there's that turnout at 90, see? And I don't, I don't know if it's PVC or, or, or um, metal. I'm going to guess it's metal because of the time, but maybe they upgraded it. Maybe they changed it by then. But that just starts giving you more reason to profile things. Now let's go to down here. This is that next floor below. And that's all conduit also. As this engineer who did a, uh, they did a big uh, a group, did a big uh, video of this, three, four engineers. The one engineer, she was arguing that, that look at that reinforcement. I don't get that cluster. Well, it's conduit. And if you see it, it's what direction it's in. It's telling you that the floor, when it collapsed, it bent that conduit in that direction. Not this direction. They exaggerate it. It's, it's going this direction. So at this point, it's indicated that the, 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 the floor below was at that direction, that point before it failure. So we've got to go behind it. We have to go. So here's the conduit. Let's just do a line like that. So we have to get an angle like this. So your, your deflection have to be over this way, your floor deflection. It, if it's over here, it's going to change the conduit's direction that way. So we have our conduit here. So on that floor, the 11th uh, floor, 11th, and that's the ceiling. This is the ceiling for the 11th floor. And up here is, is, a, 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 oh, up here is the uh, 12th floor. Um, 12th floor walkway. Approximately eight foot wide, something like that. I think um, the uh, so that at that point we still got we're still proving my rotation thing. I can't find that beam up here, right? To to, show, to get me that this dip in here, I will show you. But I discuss it with you. There's the re there's some uh, more block wall system. This looks to be uh, maybe the end of the block wall system right there. It might be the corner. See the plaster. This might be plaster. Over top, what might have been blocked, plaster being, uh, in this case, I mean stucco. Um, heavy stucco on, the, on this one, follow it down. And that's the internal wall. And that would be, uh, looks like a heavy plaster on block. Although over here, we see drywall. This appears to be plaster. But it is block above it, connecting it. So I think we're looking at the wall system. See the block? And if you can see, if you can stand it back up, Okay, it would look like a flag almost. What's left this block up here. And then this section down here is this. So if you can stand it back up, lay it flat, maybe it's that top beam. I see a groove shape, a profile where mortar was filled in a little deeper. So I might want to amend that to be part of the uh, parapet wall system. I might have amended this section here to be like that on top. Um, okay, so this is is telling, and then we have the again of the change of directions. We have a change of direction. All right, we change of directions at some point. The tug of war is taking place. Here's the railing, and then there's the railing there. It looks like railing from both you know on the left side on the out outer wall. When that wall rotated in. It didn't even take out the railing. It happened to be clearance of that, but that's an indicator to help us out, to show us that, uh, you know, that railing, how, the steps, uh, how it's securement. If we had more images inside, we'd be able to tell more. But this is pulling out. This section here is pulling out outwards the bottom. It's 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 like uh, like that, right? Outwards. I'm gonna clean that up. Pause the video. 
So this is that reinforcement, as the uh, engineer said, it's conduit. So there's a conduit that uh, is showing you. So this is the 11th floor. Remember, this goes over, and this would be up too far, probably. This is, uh, I'm just going to exaggerate the size, obviously. That's 12th corridor. And this should be 10th. So this shows that rotation. So that's why I have it uh, the, the collapsing at the, the roof deck there first and then tugging this way. Now, I don't really have it happening on the 10th floor, but there's an option for that to happen that way. I have it actually the top three floors breaking pretty clean before the rest of the building starts holding on again. I show that in another video where I show the back of this wall right here, this wall, the face of this wall. Where I show that, I do the video showing that, look at the fractures along the floor line. And that shows the tugging, that this floor was tugged in that direction. Trying to rotate the whole damn building basically like that. But these lines, if you look over and if you look to track down images, you'll see that they're not above, I think, the uh, ninth floor, eighth floor. So it might be 9, 10, 11, and the penthouse is inbound, so that doesn't count. 9, 10, 11 in the roof. Um, where it doesn't show that tugging, so there's some clean breakage there before the uh, the tugging happened. So I know our video starts at a certain amount of time, but I believe that if I part of my I'm working one of my working theories now is this one, these two, these two sort of line up with that beam holding that that uh, um, the, the compressor it gives me that. Those two dips there, this dip, I guess I got that inverted, but this dip, yeah, that's going to mess with my brain. I can't do that. Make the petty, right? So I got to do that. All right. So that gives me those two little indents. If that's where the beams were, were coming across and when it rotated down, it fractured the rest of the deck. Very telling in a story. I'm kind of tired right now. I just wanted to give you guys your personal video. Um, I'm not going to publish this, not until again, until I get it unshadow banned. Um, I got a good practical joke to tell you about in the, maybe another video. You guys that tell me, comment if you if you like uh, uh, practical jokes that I do. Um, well, you're like, I don't like practical jokes. My practical jokes are harmless. They're, uh, they're, they're just, the humor is just like, you didn't see it coming. My practical jokes with my humor, you didn't see it coming. You won't see it coming. And when you hear it, you're like, oh my gosh. And the, you'll either crack up laughing or you'll be like, Oh my gosh, what is, really? Can't believe you did that. All right, so uh, more to come. Take care. Thanks again. This is for you guys. Love you. Thanks for uh, being members.